Welcome to your quick geek. This is your tech news, South Africa. This is not coming to you live. And this is definitely not the real crew. And we are not really SKA antennas. <clears throat> Since we created segways, we're going to go right into 227. Excellent. Um, what's you up? You saw the segue there. Hey? <laughs> what's up with 227? Uh, a lot of controversy at the moment with them and the banks. Um, and basically, the banks worried that they. You know, getting the banking login details. Yeah. Uh, so what 227 is, it's a personal financial management tool. They market themselves as a money management tool that incorporates behavioral science. So what it's about is that smart people do dumb things with money. Why? And their main focus is what you can't see, you can't manage, and basically they let you see what's happening with your transaction. Yeah. You can't control what you can't measure. So now here comes the kicker, though, is in order for the system to work, you have to give them... And uh, not 227, but the third-party supplier, Yardley, who is based in the U.S., who do this for a living, and they've been doing this for a living for 10 years, you fill in your banking information on the site, right? So your account number, your PIN, and your password for online banking. So you have to have online banking, and they then scrape the, all that information automatically. Um, and, and so, I mean, that's fantastic for a lazy bum like me, but that means that the banks simply cannot take liability if something goes wrong on your account. You've given your credentials away. And this is exactly what they're telling you not to do. Yeah, and so the banks are worried that this is diluting the message of do not give your information to everybody, amongst other things. Um, and uh, ABSA has gone so far as to block Yardley. So I, as an ABSA customer, can no longer use 227 until all that stuff is sorted out. Um, so all in all, um, a very, very um, uh, almost nanny move from ABSA. And, and um, ABSA, and, and also you have to place it in context that ABSA wants to launch their own Per PMF tool, and they've said that. So, I mean, in one way, I want to say kudos to Absa for being upfront about the fact that they want to launch their own tool. But, I mean, I can't, I can't agree with a bank who cuts off somebody's lifeline uh, like this. No. And also, as they always say, it's it's your data. It's your data, absolutely. All right. So that takes us into fiber to the home in Cape Town. So finally, finally, indeed, not a gated village. Yeah, this is genuine fiber to the home in somebody's suburbs. So the reason for this, ironically, is that, or coincidentally, ironic in the Alanis Morissette sense of the word, um, there there is no DSTV coverage there. They're in a satellite dark spot, and because so of the mountain. yeah, because of the mountain. It's the only thing it's been good for so far. Well, and this brings us to the old saying, of course, if you can't get uh, the mountain to the DSTV, bring the DSTV to the mountain via fiber. Yeah, I think I've heard that somewhere yeah, before. You know, it's well known. Yeah, well known. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got fiber coming into that place. However, there's a catch. You have to pay for the trenching and the laying of the fiber. And we all know um, from previous shows, if you haven't uh, heard about this, you don't watch us enough, um, that it's quite expensive. That last mile trenching is the expensive bit. The cost is going to be about 25 grand to 50 grand, but admittedly, this is what it costs. Yes, so um, uh, for, for all the equipment uh, and installation and everything. So, and then it's still going to cost you a thousand bucks a month um, to, to, for line rental and then you're going to have to pay for data as well when they do launch internet services 10 to 30 rand a gig so what you pay for ADSL what, what's the beautiful bit? this is yeah. the beautiful bit for a thousand bucks a month 10, 20 or 50 meg a second line uh, I'll, I'll bring it to my suburb you can have my money Take all my money and I'll just, just put the line you, you in. You pay the 2050. Abs absolutely. I'll find the money somewhere. I'll, uh, it's actually ridiculous. Like, I'll jack up my credit card. <laughs> Whatever. Just put it down. So you want. <laughs> Sell my wife. Yeah. So um, that now brings us to a, a little more of a serious topic. And that's the Pirate Bay founders um, have lost their leave to appeal in the Supreme Court of Sweden, which means jail time. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, this they've lost the appeal, so they might, they should be serving some jail time. Though none of them are in Sweden at the moment, so th there is that bit of controversy. They might not go back. Um, having <laughs> said wouldn't. this, there is um, some laws apparently in Sweden, which is the longer court case takes, you might get your your uh, jail time reduced. Yeah, and and with the jail time being under a year already, uh, I mean, the, the, apparently there's even more statutes of limitations so there. Might totally fall away, and you know, this is jail in Sweden, not. South Africa, so it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, may, maybe even better just do the time and you never have to worry about yes. visiting Sweden again. Um, and that brings us to a question. We uh, got a question via email. Yeah, um, the question was, uh, what 3G package would you pick? And this was sent to us by? By Keith Kaweka. Yeah, cool. so um, an interesting question, simple question with a very, very uh, complex answer. Because as with all uh, great questions, the answer begins with, 
It depends. Yeah. So um, I think uh, we, we came to the consensus that ATA is a good first thing to look at. Yeah. Uh, Price-wise, just for the sheer amount of bandwidth you get, ATA is your best. Um, your main thing that you've got to worry about is, are you in a coverage area? They have very good maps. You know, go check out the maps yep. and is. And remember with this, please test it first. Yeah. So the cheapest way to test this, and you can do this on basically any network, is get yourself a 3G SIM, or, or sorry, any old SIM for a, for a RAM or whatever it costs in the shop. Load up a little bit of data on that thing, pop it into a card or a cell phone, and check if you've got data coverage. I mean, you can easily see it'll tell you 3G on your phone, whatever the case might be. Um, so ATA also has prepaid offers. You can pay upfront. I think it's around 1800 bucks, and they allocate uh, 24 gigs to you right up front for you to use. So if you don't want to be locked into a contract, you've got prepaid yeah. options as well. The, the other option, which we haven't actually mentioned, is you can get 10 gigs, it's about 200 something rand a month. 199 a month. Yeah. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, that's a two-year contract. Look, we think it's worth it to the point where uh, our backup bandwidth in here, at the moment, is ATA just because it's the cheapest. Yep. Um, if you don't have ATA coverage, or if coverage is your primary concern, Vodacom is probably your best bet. Yep. Um, on record, they have the best coverage of any cellular operator in the country. However, you should probably just double check. Yeah. Also check with MTN. Um, there are some places MTN will cover that Vodacom doesn't cover and vice versa. So, I mean, yeah, it really does depend. Yeah. Also MTN have an uncapped offering, so you really are going to have to compare it to that problem. Um, also, please, once again, test. Test, test, test. Um, thank you very much for watching and thank you to Keith for uh, sending for us in question. for the question. Any other questions, please send it to feedback at uh, Let's Talk Network or TV. Uh, we will answer your questions here on the next show. Uh, right now, go watch some of our other shows at Let's Talk. Uh, it's ltg.letstalknetwork.tv. Go like our Facebook page. You know, join and follow us on Twitter. Uh, it's at Let's Talk Geek. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.